Hello, Josh Stevens here, head geek at SolarWinds. Today we're here to demonstrate a brand new free tool available from SolarWinds.com called the Network Device Monitor. The Network Device Monitor allows you to use this free tool to monitor any device on the network that supports SNMP. This tool is especially valuable when monitoring devices like routers, switches, firewalls, load balances, and even servers, again, that support the simple network management protocol. Now, if you're not familiar with SNMP or what MIBs are, you can learn more about that at thwack.com, where we have many educational resources to help you understand the protocols that tools like this leverage. Once you launch the Network Device Monitor, simply choose the Next button to get started with the wizard. The first thing the Network Device Monitor is going to ask you for is the IP address of the first device you want to monitor. You can either enter in an IP address or a host name for the device. Then you'll need to enter in a name for your credential set, meaning the name you're going to use to remember which SNMP credentials you've leveraged. This is a set for devices in my lab. And then you want to type in the actual SNMP community stream. Now, if you are leveraging SNMP version 3, you'll need to choose that and then specify all the different details you need to make SNMP version 3 work. For simplicity's sake, we're going to go ahead and use SNMP version 2 today. And I'm going to use a test button to validate that this community string is accurate and available for this device. Then simply hit the next button. Now at this point, I can choose to either use the pre-built network device monitors that we ship within the product. I can go out to thwack.com, which is our community site, and choose one of the monitors that another user has contributed or that maybe I've uploaded in the past. Or you could go ahead and define one manually by browsing the MIBs available on that device and selecting which one to monitor. I'm going to go ahead and select, in this case, one of the pre-built ones, and I'm going to use the uh, Cisco Environmental Monitoring Fan State MIB. Simply hit Next. Now I can either change some of the values here, but you shouldn't need to change these values because this is a built-in monitor. If you're defining this from scratch by browsing the MIB tree, you might need to change it from a raw value, for instance, to a rate or a counter, depending upon what type of information you're actually trying to monitor. Then simply choose the Start Monitoring button, and the network device monitor will begin monitoring your device for that information. Now, if you decide you want to later go in and change this, you can choose the Settings button up here at the top right, and then go change which monitor is being selected by using the Select Monitor button. Or you can actually go in and import a monitor from THWACK. Again, this is our community site, THWACK.com. And you can see hundreds of other monitors other users have contributed. Now, by the way, these are the same exact types of monitors that you'll use within Orion, within Orion's Universal Device Polder, or UNDP. Now, if you want to monitor more than one device, or if you want to monitor many different statistics on the same device, you want to upgrade from the free tool to Orion. And you can download a free copy of Orion from SolarWinds.com to check it out. I'm going to go ahead and select one of the other Cisco environment monitors here. Let's go ahead and see what looks interesting. Let's monitor the CDP neighbor table. Choose OK. Save the changes. And then you can go ahead and just select it from there. You can also go in and browse the MIB tree to select one manually, save it, export it to a file, and then share it up on Thwack for other users to leverage. Now, in addition to making it easy to monitor these statistics, the network device monitor also includes with it a new MIB compiler. The MIB compiler can be used to import your own SNMP MIBs that you've gotten from a hardware vendor into the tool. So it makes it very, very easy to take these new MIBs you've gotten from Cisco, Riverbed, or another networking device vendor and simply import those and compile them right into the tool right here available for you. Very simple to use. Just choose the MIB file, choose Compile, and then it imports it. And after you've done that, when you go into the free tool, and you want to choose to browse the MIB tree, it'll be available for you there to select. Again, this is the Network Device Monitor, a free tool from SolarWinds. If you want to monitor multiple devices or multiple statistics on a single device, you want to upgrade to the Orion application, which includes the Universal Device Polar, which is a more robust and scalable version of these features. Again, Josh Stevens here, head geek at SolarWinds. Thank you very much. Have a great day.